testing the mic seems to be working good. Shit. Welcome to VGA Chronicles. Today, we're going to be playing one of the uh, most influential game series in uh, the history of video games, Cabela's. A lot of people like to rip off this game because of its unique um, feel and gameplay aspects. As we progress into the 2020s soon, a lot of uh, gamers and former gamers have come to terms to realize that there were a lot of shit games for the Game Boy Advance. Now, at the time when these games came out, um, it was amazing that we could just even fathom their existence. But if we truly be honest with ourselves, we realize that the good games are far and few between. So let's hope and pray that this version of Cabela's on the Game Boy Advance is not one of those failures. So I'm going to press start and it's letting me know that this is licensed by Nintendo. So immediately, no bullshit, we can uh, pick Alaska, which has a star on it, Pennsylvania, Montana. Okay, so Alaska is this, this moose. You got a deer in Pennsylvania. A brown bear? Or it doesn't look like a black bear. I'm just going to say it's a grizzly or something in Montana. You got this thing in Pennsylvania. Looks like you can go to Pennsylvania twice. Um, looks like you got Alaska again, but hunting bear. In Wisconsin, you have deer. More... Wait, hold on. So, another bear in Wisconsin... I'm a little frustrated. I mean, I think I understand though. This is easy level game. And this is harder because this is a ram. But it's still in Alaska. So does that mean I can... Whatever. What the fuck? Is there... Are these like different challenges? It doesn't really... There's no context really. So I guess these are different challenges. Like there's a lot of challenges. Holy shit. This is the whole game probably. Let's start off in Alaska. Alright, Moose in Alaska. This hunt takes place in the spectacular Alaska Range. Well known among hunters, both for its excellent moose populations and rugged wilderness. A low number of hunters, coupled with prime moose habitat, produce a high success rate and quality trophies. Alright, so we have a .243... Um, this reliable bolt-action rifle is an outstanding all-around hunting gun for all but the largest big game species. So this is like a good gun. We got the point twenty seven zero. Among the most popular calibers for big game hunting, this bolt-action rifle should handle nearly any game at most distances. So, so that one's supposed to be better. Um, so this is popular. This one's like the standard... You gotta be sure of your gun against the largest game. Choose the .338. Okay, so that's the big one. Pump action. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be an inconvenience. Um, but this is a deer rifle. Okay, shotgun. That pretty easy name. That versatile 12 gauge. Excellent deer hunting. There's lots of deer hunting going on in this game. Black powder dates back... Oh, dude, this is like... Okay, so this is accurate. I think I'm going to go with the standard. <sighs> because I, I don't really know. So I'm going to pick it. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Um, 
I think this is a top-down strategy. Or it might be real-time strategy. But it's definitely top-down, because if I'm able to navigate the map like this, clearly I'm in, I'm in a helicopter of some sort. I don't know what's going on. I don't really know. Am I picking my spot? Like, are we, like, looking for spots? What is What is this red stuff? Like, is that the blood from the last shooting? Oh, fuck. Am I moving around? I'm just walking, I think. What the fuck? Dude, it's running away. It's going up north. I can only go as far as the D-pad will allow me. Okay, I think I'm supposed to be following this thing that's in the top right of the screen. Really unsure. Okay, so you're just looking for it. You're just looking for it. Okay, it went off screen. Therefore, I cannot obtain that moose. Wait a minute. These are my items. Let me back out of this. And you... Can I get onto this side of the screen? How do I... Well, as you can see, I am a blue dot. And then there's my mannequin shadow figure. Oh, what the fuck? There's Ram over here. Okay. How about we go to one of these red dots? Oh, wait, hold on. My dog won't shut up. Shut up. Okay, so we got mask sent. Could have used that earlier. How about we use some moose call? Okay, so we're using moose call. I don't really think it's working. I mean, how can you tell? How many times can we use that shit? I don't really think it does anything. Okay. So. Okay. Let's use. Or no, I don't want to quit. No. I want to use my mask scent. And I want to use my moose call. I'm masking my scent. It says there is, there's a moose up north, but I, I don't fucking believe it. There's got to be... What's with all these red splotches across the map? Like, what do they represent? Oh my god, how do I get... This is not a game that can be mastered in 20 minutes. Or less. In fact, I don't know how to play this game. And I feel like... Uh... Alright, I'm putting on some moose scent. That's all you get. These three items. Which apparently you can use endlessly. So when I stand over here, nothing. Okay, fuck. When I was standing over there, look, see? Okay, I'm in this one area. How do I do anything? Okay, you can change your movement. Oh shit, you can move a lot faster if you're running. Um. But that's insanely fast. So I'm looking for that moose. Um, 
Gotta say, this is a strange port. Um. Okay. Ah, uh, how do I? It's like you can't do anything. Oh, oh shit! Hold on. Let's use the move scent. Let's run. Dude. Let's crouch. <sighs> Shit. None of, none of this is working. Like the dots are just going to run away from me. And even if I do get one, I don't know what to do. Dude. Come on. This is such bullshit. <sighs> okay. This isn't working out. And, and I'm becoming really impatient. I'm quitting this challenge. I'm moving on to the deer. Okay. Now let's... Okay, let's use this one. Now let's find the, those deer. Let's change to crouching. Oh crap. Press A to use items. Let's use her items. Let's use the deer. Let's use the mass scent. Now let's use the deer scent. And now let's use the deer call. And if that doesn't do anything, I'm going to be pissed. What the hell? Am I at the bottom? Oh, okay. I forgot I'm crouching. It's gonna make it really hard to... Wait. I think I'm being pointed in that direction. By that little cup thing. I don't know what the cup thing is. But maybe it'll help me at least do something in this game. I'm not really sure where I'm going. Um, kind of feel like, yeah, nothing. Okay, so let's run. There's deer up there, but I can't. Okay, so if there's deer, okay, so let's change since we're gonna stay in this area. Alright, mass scent. Alright, let's try changing it up. Let's try using the deer call this time. And then let's try using the deer scent. And I'll see what happens. Oh, yeah. Nothing. Nothing happens. So basically, if you want to like be disappointed the entire time while playing a game, buy this game. Um... If you want to not actually hunt and just like move a blue dot across the screen looking for red dots that run away like twice as fast, you may as well just play this game because this is what you're going to get. Uh, you're going to get no explanation as to what's going on or what these red blotches are. <sighs> Let me try going inside of a red blotch. I don't understand the cup thing either. Like, what is the cup thing? Or the funnel? I mean, what the hell? Am I crazy? Like, what is that? I'm not a hunter, okay? Like, I'm never going to be one at this rate. With this game and its training. Or its slow learning curve. Because, damn, I mean... I'm sure I could appreciate this if I actually had something to go by or something to go off of but okay for a moment there I saw a deer yeah it's gone now see this is bullshit like oh my god oh my god what the fuck it was right there now it's not
huh, I can't even shoot my gun, which is what really pisses me off, is I just want to shoot my gun. I can't. Uh, okay, so right here is a deer. Okay, so what if I go to this little area here? Uh, I want to see if any of this helps. Uh, I use my mass scent. Deer call. Nothing. I didn't mean to do that. I heard something. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Um, it's like I said, maybe these people ripped off Cabela's. I mean, this is not how I remembered Cabela's being. There's plenty of deer over here off screen. But they're off screen. That's the problem. I, I can't fight things off screen. I can't, for fuck's sake, I don't even have a gun that I can use to my knowledge. I mean, there's all these invisible deer that are off screen. Hiding off screen. Probably because I'm running around. But I've also masked myself in deer scent. I've done the deer call. I've covered up my own scent. I've crouched, I've walked. It's not like when you approach a red dot, it's just going to stand still. No, those things take off. This is what I don't get. What the fuck are these? What are these things? Well, I mean, who created this game? Let's. How can we reset? Because this isn't working. Okay, Activision, you suck. You created a terrible Cabela's game. This is shit. This is... You can't do anything with this. Maybe you can, and I'm just wrong. But this is not... This isn't Cabela's. What the hell? I mean... You've disgraced the Cabela's name with this game. So that about does it for this. Sorry for the disappointment. I guarantee you, you're, you're not as disappointed as me. I was hoping to really shoot some deer. But instead, I get a blue dot on a map. And some red dots that are nowhere to be found after like 10 seconds. So, this concludes the um adventure of Cabela's Big Game Hunter for the Game Boy Advance. Um, you know, like I said, I recommend this, this game to anybody who has a lot of patience and understands how to play it, but to, to anybody else, you might want to just like, you know, like buy a candy bar instead or something, you know, I mean, I mean, this isn't working out for me, clearly, so... Uh, thanks for watching VGA Chronicles.